We've got to talk about some movers off the back of this infrastructure deal, if we can call it that. Haven't yeah. we, Taylor Riggs? Well, not a deal yet, but at least an agreement, right? And that is a start. And so you're seeing Caterpillar and some other construction-related stocks really start to move yesterday. You start to see them again moving in pre-market. Also take a look at Vulcan Materials. There's um, uh, Martin and Marietta. Those are getting some big upgrades from the street. I've read at least three analysts noting that this deal is a big deal for these stocks. And finally, EVs are also getting a boost in that infrastructure deal as well. So plug power moving higher and yes space we're still do, doing fundamentals here and I'm petitioning that Bloomberg TV go to space via Virgin Galactic on the news of the FAA approving of customers of course going into space let's uh, change the board John and take a look at some earning movers Nike at a record they're saying that revenue could top 50 billion dollars this year FedEx, though, to the downside, analysts not liking that, hinting at a smaller margin, stepping up those spending pressures that's going to pressure that profit outlook. And then, John, we have to talk about the rebalancing that's happening today. Russell, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000. After the closing bell, we're going to get a hint. It's the last Friday of June. It happens every year. We hear GameStop will indeed be moved up. Take a look at this. Goldman Sachs expecting 255 additions to the Russell 3,000, 57 to the Russell 1,000, and 279 stocks to enter the Russell 2,000. So you're getting a shift, a rebalancing after the bell.